Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back with me, Ali Firdi al uh, In the previous video, I have explained about two phonological rules Which are uh, assimilation and insertions uh, So in this video, I will continue about my explanation I will explain about an, uh, other phonological rules Which are deletion and simulated So, we are going to the first material is deletion. So, what is deletion? The word deletion is from a verb delete, which means remove or obliterate. In Bahasa, it is called as menghapus. So, deletion is a phonological process that happens when a sound such as a stressless syllable or a weak consonant is deleted or no longer pronounced. For instance, his history become history and now become now so it is a process by which a sound a, a sound present in the phonetic form is removed from the phonetic form in certain environments for ease of production uh, according to us there are three tri three types of deletion the first is apheresis the second is syncope and the third is apocope the first is apheresis Apheresis, which is initial deletion, as in uh, I am become I am, and I have become I have. For example, I am going to school and I've done this assignment. I've done this assignment. I'm going to school. Or apheresis as initial loss, such as in k before an in night 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 so the pronunciation of night is night not knight not knight night uh, and the second is the second type is syncope syncope is formative internal deletion the term is most frequently used with vowel loss but some writers extend it to, con to consonant as well for example, the pronunciation of secretary, whether it is pronounced as secretary or secretary, secretary or secretary. And the third type is avocope. Avocope is the last of a final element as t before a word beginning with another consonant. Avocope can be divided into two types. First, relating t sound between consonant and the second deleting t between an t and a vowel sound. The first is deleting the deleting t between consonant have between consonant. It happens when a word ending in consonant t links into a word beginning with a consonant. The final t of the first word is often deleted. For example, in the word best friends, not it pronounces it pronounced as best friend, not best friend not best friend but best friend best friend the sentence the twin are best friend the twin are best friends so the consonant t in the past is not pronounced it is linked into the second is deleting t between t and a vowel this happens when a word ending in t links into a word beginning with a vowel sound, the final t in oven is often deleted. For instance, the sentence C moved into apartment in the city. Apartment, apartment, apartment. C moved into apartment in the city. So the final t in t is not pronounced. Apartment, apartment. C moved into apartment in the city. Okay, the second material is simulated. What is simulated? Simulated is an adjoining word. The keyword is similarity. Abercrombie defines simulated as accommodation of the articulation of one segment to the articulation of an adjacent segment. Consonant acquire the characteristic the characteristic primary features of the immediately allowing non-consonant. For consonant, these are derived features. The example of simulated is 
and curtain should be curt curtain 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 and in the word camera it should be camera camera uh, so even the, the first letter is C but it pronounces it not a uh, C but K K not ch sound so it is pronounced as camera 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 not camera not camera okay that's all about my explanation from uh, this this material that are uh, deletion and simulated hope you guys get the point and uh, enjoy the video thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh